If you are wondering for beginners how to learn Chinese, how to learn Chinese online and for free, this is the right video. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Lucia. Today, I will tell you my general tips, the videos, apps, and the website that you can learn Chinese fast and easy for free. Let's get started. First of all, let me tell you some general tips how to learn Chinese. Although I'm a Chinese teaching channel, I still want you to think twice why you want to learn Chinese. Learning language can be a long process, and your time is very precious. So please, at the very beginning, make sure you have the right motivation, and also make sure this language will work well for you. When you start learning Chinese, I generally have two tips. The first of all is to have more general exposure to this language. I will tell you more free apps and websites later. Also, you can find more material to listen to this language casually, which will make the classroom learning easier. Also, for a serious learner, I highly recommend you to learn the Hanyu Pinyin from the beginning. In this way, you speak the right language from the beginning. Also, if you haven't learned the Hanyu Pinyin, it's never too late to learn. Let me tell you some free videos and free courses that can help your Chinese learning. First website I want to recommend you is Coursera. You may think Coursera is not for free, but look at here. They have the financial aid as well as the free trial. This is very useful and I'm surprised that not so many people know about these features. When I was in college, I tried to grasp some basic programming language. I used this financial aid button. When you click in, they give you a form to fill in your motivation, your financial difficulties, even your contributions after learning this course. I highly recommend you to treat this form seriously and sincerely. Talk about your real motivation and yeah, your real financial difficulties. Like if you are a student, you don't really have any extra income. Uh, if you are in a relatively low income area, then Coursera is from the United States. You can still write it out. And you can get the access to this course generally for one month for free. Well, also each course is not too long. I believe it's sufficient to every serious Chinese learner. And if you want to try this course before applying financial aid or buy it, you can click on this free trial button to get usually seven days of free trial. Another platform I recommend you to find lessons and videos is YouTube, of course. While I don't really watch the Chinese learning channel a lot, I can recommend you some. I think they are pretty nice teachers. For example, Harbin Mandarin Chinese. This channel is for the beginners learning Chinese Mandarin. She uses a classroom style, very clear settings, and she has very nice pronunciation. The channel Chinese for dot us or .us, I'm not sure. They tell intermediate or lower intermediate Chinese stories. If you want more listening, you can check out this channel. Another channel I like it personally is uh, Shu Shu Chinese. Shu Shu Chinese is also for intermediate learners. She tells some stories in Chinese, which I personally watch them and enjoy them, honestly. And she tells the distinctions between words. She also tells some grammar. To my experience, she has very nice characteristic and her lessons, her videos are very enjoyable and fun. For advanced learners and who want to know more about Chinese cultures and uh, Chinese people, you can check out this channel, Mandarin Corner. In this channel, people are talking in solely Mandarin in the normal speed. That is how the Chinese people talk in the real life. They will tell you about culture, the phenomenon. They also had a lot of street interview. So if you want to listen more as an advanced learner and you want to learn more about the culture, the social phenomenon and the people's thoughts, this is a good channel to look for. Also, there are institutional channels, for example, the Chinese Class 101 and Everyday Chinese. Honestly, you can see the promotions from these channels, but they also post a lot of free learning materials. And I will also introduce you four free apps to learn Chinese. The first app is called Dolingo. When I start to learn Spanish, yes, I can speak some uh, Spanish as a beginner. In this app, you can use your fraction time to learn language, which is very intuitive, very fun, and you can grasp the basic of the language. The first app I want to talk about is Dolingo. Dolingo provides a very intuitive way and good interactions, so you can learn Chinese in your fraction time, which is easy, fun, and carefree. Let's check it out. 
They divide the lessons into about three minutes. It's a it's lesson. You have multiple choices. You have pictures. That is a good way to learn Chinese. Let's see the lesson one. We can click tips. It introduces you about learning Chinese, pinyin, as well as tones. Let's start lesson. Select the correct character for how. So you can click on this. How and check. Continue. I think this app is also pretty cute. Continue. Good. Good. How? How? Look. How? Here is tap to speak. So you type. How? So now we have done our first lesson and continue one day streak. The second app I recommend you is called Hello Chinese. Hello Chinese has a great place to learn Hanyu Pinyin for free, and you can practice with them. I want to show you a very nice feature for Hello Chinese that helps you to learn pronunciation here. In this app, you can practice your pronunciation of the Pinyin, different syllables and tones. The first, they give you an introduction of Pinyin, what is Pinyin, how to use Pinyin, the initial, the final, the tones. They give you a short introduction here. This is something I really like. The first learn syllable one, the initials and finals. We can check on it. Ah. They show you the syllable and you can click here to speak. So this app will help you to check if you speak it all right. Ah. Yes. These are tones. They teach you the ah, 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 ah for the tones. They give you pretty cute indications here. Ah, ah, ah and ah. Do a practice. Uh, do you know which one it is? It's the first tone. This let you to get a half of the four tones. Uh, so I really appreciate that shows you the pinyin pronunciation for each one. Uh, they give you a place to practice pinyin. The third app is called Memorize. Memorize has a very cool camera feature that you can catch the real things in your life and learn Chinese about it. So we can click the lower right side, explore. They uh, give you the camera. So you can show down the real things in your life. Look at this. It shows you, this is the keyboard. And it shows you how to say it in Chinese. It's 键盘. 键盘. Here I have a pen, B, the hand, 手. You can just click capture project. Capture object, <laughs> and you click the library. These are the things in your real life. So, and the office we collect the mouth, 鼠标. We collect the notebook, 笔记本. When you see something in your real life, you want to know how to speak it. You can uh, just take a picture. 笔, the pen. 键盘, the keyboard. It's also helpful that you make your own uh, word card. Pretty intuitive. Number four is striker. As its name, Striker is a great place to learn the characters for free, and you can learn the strokes from this app. Striker is about to learn the strokes. So let's see. These are their free courses. We can check uh, one or two courses here. For example, the first is counting numbers 1 to 10, and Chinese stroke holder, and the Chinese zodiac. Those are some free materials. Let's check on this 100 common radicals. This short video, about 5 minutes to give you an overview. And I think the best part is that uh, they give you a place to practice these words, these radicals. So let's check the first 1 to 10 to see how this app works. There are 10 words. Let's click on 人. 人 is people, man. This is the example sentence. Learn now. 人. 人. What is the definition? You can tap to review. It's people. And what is the pinyin? And 人. 人. The first question is to draw the tone. Draw the tone, 人, is the upper second tone. 人. This shows you the order and uh, the direction of all the strokes. So you can follow this. This is uh, uh, the first stroke, like this. And the second stroke. 人. Now they only show you how this character look like. Uh, you need to remember uh, how to write the strokes. So, one, two. They will hide 人. this character. You draw the stroke. 人. And tap to the ones. Then you finish one of this character. Let's try another one. Show hand. The 
here are the four apps we can use Duolingo or Hello Chinese to have some exposure in your fractional time. Hello Chinese is a good way to practice pinyin, memorize, uh, can interact with their cameras so you can catch the real things in your life and learn the Chinese about it and make the word card for yourself. For Striker, which is a great place to learn stroke on your phone. And now let's talk about three websites, free websites that can help you to learn Chinese. First, I think everybody knows it, is the Google Translate. The first two I would like to introduce you is the Google Translate. When you see some Chinese characters you don't understand, you can type it right here. Oh, you can copy paste it right here. As an example, 你好, you can see the translation of English right here is hello there or hello. They give you more examples like hello, hi. These are all 你好. They also show your pinyin automatically. And you can also click on this uh, trumpet button to see how this word pronounce. This word, this letter, this character, or this sentence. This is not the real people's voice. This is more the voice from a machine. You can click here to change the language to your mother language. And here you can translate it into Chinese. So now we translate from English to Chinese, simplify. It can also provide you the Han Pinyin. They provide you this uh, trumpet to learn how to pronounce it. You can also copy this letter or copy this Han Pinyin to others. Number two, if you want to hear how the real native Chinese people pronounce a certain word, you can check out this website called Furwo. Furwo is a very nice tool to learn the pronunciation of a certain word and certain phrases. And we can also call it the pronunciation dictionary. We can search for a word here. Unfortunately, you cannot use the pinyin here. Let's say 开心, which is happy. I will just type it in, 开心, and uh, search. So you can hear how the native people pronounce the 开心. Let's click in. We can see four pronunciations in Mandarin Chinese. You can also select male or female. 开心. 开心. This is a male sign. Kai xin. And let's see, they also show you some dialect like Minnan Chinese or Wu Chinese. This Wu Yu and Minnan Yu. Both of them are at the southeast of China. We can click on this Minnan. Kai xin. It's pretty similar. If you learn Mandarin Chinese, you can literally find everything. Number three, Yuglish. In this website, you can not only hear about how the native speaker pronounce a certain word, but also that speech context. As the name of Yuglish, it captures videos from YouTube channel. Let me show you. Let's see, Yuglish. Uh, you can get your opinion this about YouTube and English. And uh, it's right, previously it was designed to have people to learn English in the real life content. They find the real life content by searching the YouTube videos. Uh, we can try and get some examples. Let's first uh, change this from for English. They have much more language now. We can search to Chinese. So you can search a word, a language, or a phrase. For example, I want to search uh, running, 跑步, 跑步, running. Uh, I will type it right here, 跑步. This tool, Yuglish, will help you to search on the YouTube library, who said 跑步. They will give you this language environment inside that video. Now, Yuglish return you all these videos. They find 955 videos that contains the word 跑步. Let me replay this. <laughs> Uh, this is a real speaking contest. One of the best things, they highlight the word you are searching for, and they also provide all this pinyin, this Han Yu pinyin, so you can read this. Next one. Yuglish give you the right time point. They show you how the people speak this word inside this sentence. And that's our very native Chinese people speaking this language. It's a great tool for especially advanced learners to learn uh, how to say a word, not only the pronunciation, but also the language context. I hope you'll get the information you want from this channel and good luck on your language learning process. In my next video, I will talk about the Chinese education system. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.